Hello! I'm Tripping Matt. Welcome to something different for a change, not Risk of Rain. Uh, this is Dungeon Defenders. Um, so I, I played this uh, a couple times. Um, and, like, it's, like, yeah, I think it's fun. But uh, last night, especially, I played it with uh, some of my friends. And we'll just we went on for a while, and suddenly I have an enthusiasm to uh, play this game a little more. So I thought, why not? Why not start the YouTube series for it, even if it's just a couple episodes, just to see how it works? Why not? So, we are going to be... Yeah, we're going to be just doing... For this one, we're going to try to do a little bit of solo action. And then maybe, at some other point, we'll get some online stuff. So, uh, let's... Do a new hero. So I ha still have that one for when I'm playing with my friends. To delve deeper into the world of the arcane, mm. under the guidance of the Grand Magus, so. the apprentice has learned the art of conjuration. What? Training Yo, I'm gonna. Let's see. What's, what's a good one? I think I'm going to. The monk has been called from his solitary meditation. I'm most familiar with Squire. I'm thinking let's try something else just to um, give myself something else to work with. Why not an apprentice? Let's try this. We can customize the colors a little bit. Um, let's see. I'm liking the teal hat. Let's see what, what else can we get? Yeah, that's ugly. Yikes. What if we just do nothing? Just make it black. I'm, I'm digging that. Digging that. Let's make that top red. Alright. Alright, let's do it. Let's go with it. Let's go with a random name. Just, I'm just gonna stop clicking at some point and we're just gonna take whatever it gives us. Crispin? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. That sounds that sounds like some sort of like bagged chip brand <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. We'll we'll go with it. Why not? All right, we're ready with Crispin. Let's play. We're gonna do this as a private match. Yes, I don't want other people joining in. So like, it's just me. I gotta figure this out on my own. No, leaving my allies to. Do everything else. All right. Uh, let's go back. To, uh, let's see. How do we do this? Hmm. Okay. We're gonna be doing this on the medium difficulty, and let's let's just go with the first level. Etheria was once a land of living legends. Long ago, brave warriors across the realm stood together against an immortal evil known as the Old Ones. In the wake of this struggle, the champions locked away the power of the Old Ones inside Eternia crystals. Recently, the realm's heroes called to a faraway crusade, have left their younger kin to tend the castle and its chores. Bored with their dreary duties, and imagining action and adventure, the pupils accidentally unleash an ancient force that has long been dormant. Now these heroes in training will have to grow up quickly. Together, they will defend the Eternia Crystals against those who would seek to resurrect the ancient evils. So I skipped that intro both of the other times I played, and... I thought this was just, like, the cute art style. I didn't realize we were actually children in this game. <laughs> Alright. We get some. We get a level up point to spend. Um, let's do that in hero damage. Why not? I don't really know how this character builds. So I've never done this character, so we're, we're gonna see. All 
Alright. Just getting myself familiar with how it goes. I also, oh, I need to go to the options and turn off voice chat so you don't see that symbol in the top constantly. <laughs> Let's put it on push to talk so that you don't see it. Alright. So, also, what are the controls on a controller? I played with keyboard last time. Okay, hotkeys, directional pad. Interesting. Okay. Okay. All right. So just testing some of this. Out. Ah. Interesting. All right. Okay. Starting to kind of just exploring a little bit. They handle this is much different than what you do on a keyboard and on a keyboard it's just like one through zero hotkeys so let's see all right all right and then ah okay Alright, so let's come around, picking up this chest to get ourselves a little bit of mana to start with, so looks like let's get Magic Missile Tower right here, right there. Uh, no, I don't want to do that here, let's go over to the other side and do a similar thing. Oh, I didn't realize you could charge this guy's attack. Interesting. Get the mana there, and let's build one here as well. Alright. Is there any other chests? Which, which one was the... The map. Alright, here's the map. Uh, there are some more chests. Let's get them. And build up our defenses more. Uh, we no bother to open them. Why not? Let's double up on these towers. Give two of them. Alright, and then open this chest and get a second one at the other side. Why not? Let's do it. There's not going to be too many enemies here, but might as well be prepared for when there's larger waves. So basically how this game works is it's basically like a first-person tower defense game. Enemies will spawn from certain locations. Your job is to build towers and or just go fight the enemies yourself uh, to prevent them from getting to this crystal. And we also go to this crystal to start the wave. All right. So we're killing those guys on our own. I want to just watch the towers do this. Oh, wow. Nice. Now, we cannot damage them until they come out of that area. So, ooh, we got that guy quite a bit. This is an archer guy, which is why we want to get that out of the way, because he can, he can do a number on us. And we did that. That was no problem. It really was not. So, do we get a level up here? Doesn't look like we got a level up there. So, is there anything else we can do? Repair defense. I don't know if I really need to repair anything. I can pull up the map and see. Is there some way? Um, can I? 
upgrade anything or does that come late? Ah, yes. I need to upgrade. I need to get a few pillar levels to get more mana before I can start upgrading stuff. So let's just start the next wave. Shouldn't be too hard. I should focus my attacks more on the big group, where uh, the towers alone may not be enough. Focus there. Oh, wow. Okay, there's some archer guys. Let's take care of these guys. Some on the other side as well. There's a lot of these guys. I guess mostly the archer guys left. Everything else is taken care of. There's a lot of mana lying around the ground. All those gems, those are mana crystals that drop from uh, dead enemies that we can pick up but we have full mana so we gotta we gotta figure out something to spend it on ah and sometimes they also drop items we can pick up this helmet uh, level up available okay so how do we do that okay what do we want to upgrade let's upgrade the towers a little bit uh, let's give them more attack and more attack rate. Why not? Let's do that. That sounds like a good plan. Let's see. And why not? Let's triple up these towers. Why not? Um, there is another... So the red maps, the red areas on the map are where enemies are allowed to spawn from. It'll also tell you which enemies are spawning from where in each wave. So we don't have to worry about those top spawns yet, but we will eventually have to. But for now, let's just get another one of these, because why not? Now allow us to pick up all this extra mana lying around. Because why not? Alright, and we'll open one of the chests just to get back up to absolute full. Ooh, what is this? Ah, that is, that is an item we cannot use until we get more hero levels. That is a piece of armor we can put on right now. I should open these chests just to see if I get more items like that. In fact, we did. We got boots now. Or stompers, as they called it. Let's see what's in this one. Ah, uh, is that... Is, Exact same item, except uh, we cannot level up this item, so we'll just put that in the box. Anything you put in the box, you can sell later for uh, extra mana to upgrade stuff. So we'll just open this chest, and then we'll start this wave. And what is that? Uh, similar deal. Okay. Is there some way... F There's got to be some way for me to start the... Um, start the wave... Some shortcut for me to start the wave. Ah, okay. That's good. I'm gonna look at the controls here. There, there should be some way for me to start the wave without actually having to go to the thing. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Ah, okay. So on controller, that's what push to talk is. It's the pressing down the left D pad. I forgot to. Okay, I need to change my camera angle. There we go. That's what I want it to be. Deal with these archers. The 
being a nuisance. Woo! Alright, that's taken care of. Alright, what's coming up next? There are gonna be guys upstairs, so uh, we ought to upgrade and put some towers up here. How are we gonna do this? How are we doing this? Because they could come up or down, so how about. Let's put the tower right on top of there. And how about another Oh, I need to go grab some mana before I can do that. Luckily, there's a fuck ton sitting around here. That's the one annoying, so I have to like jump around my towers to get over, so... I'm just gonna expect that they'll come up this way, so I'll put the uh, turrets there. And we'll do the same thing up on this side. Put it right on the rail and then another one right beside it. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. And pull out some of this mana just to. Oh, uh, what am I trying to say? Just to get another tower up here. Yeah. Alright, let's open this up, see if we get more items. Alright, what is that? Uh, that's objectively worse. This one, uh, strictly speaking, better, but you can't upgrade it. Uh, so I'll just put that in the chest. At the end of this level, before we go on to the next one, I'll upgrade some stuff. I'll also probably split the YouTube episode between the waves or the levels, rather. As in this one, there's a lot of extra mana lying around. All right. Is everything good? And let's start this. Let's get this party started. Try to watch these guys at the side. And make sure that um, the towers are uh, doing their job with this guy. Okay. So it's not. It's not the best system, but it's. It looks like it's good enough. We come to that other side and make sure. Okay, that guy's dead. And now we just help out all these things in the middle. We'll just be support higher behind this tower. The tower. I might have to go repair some of these towers after this. Woo! All right. That's another weapon we can't use until later. Level up is available. So, oh, I actually got two levels, so we got four points to spend. Um, we'll give the towers a little bit more health because they are taking damage. We'll kind of increase the area they can shoot at and give them more damage. And how about uh, give me more damage? We'll go with that. Alright, so as I was saying, I do need to heal this stuff. Alright, pick up some mana. I, also, depending on how much mana is sitting around, I could upgrade uh, some things. Ooh, 
what is this? Ooh, what is that effect? I don't know what that is. We'll definitely pick that up because we don't already have a weapon, so we'll take it. But I don't know what that does. We should figure that out. Ooh, there's going to be two of these guys now, so I, I need to repair and upgrade. I mean, maybe, eh, probably just um, build another one, really. Maybe not upgrade, just build another one. The problem I noticed, the one on the pedestal, uh, the, once the enemies got past a certain point, the one on the pedestal wasn't shooting them anymore, so... Maybe the placement of that wasn't ideal. There's this big mana crystal over there. Let me grab that. Let's see what's in this chest. Uh, oh, I didn't have gloves yet, so I could have picked that up, but whatever. I put it in the chest. That's we we'll put that in the chest. We can sell it. And this one. Um, yeah. The same effects, but I can upgrade that one. I can't up upgrade the other one. We'll pull that in just to sell it. And let's repair that. Repair that. And get you a buddy here. Why not? More buddies. Let's get the next one behind you guys. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. This is looking pretty legit. Although these towers aren't too strong. Now they do the job. I'm definitely going to be watching the top side, because the top side seems the weakest, because that's where the really strong enemies are coming out. Oh, never mind, they got this, they got this. Okay. Yeah, those ta the towers on that side, they got, they got this. I'll hop out here a little bit. And now let's help out that side a little bit. These last two guys, where are they? That was not what I meant to do. There we go. The level is done. Now I can pick up all this mana because it just like goes to my bank. Oh, apparently, my bank carries over. I uh, sh there's no reason I should have this much mana ready. Ah, uh, so. Let's get more defense health because that seems to be an issue. Get the more damage and fire faster. Let's give me some more speed so I can move around a little bit more and have them get a better area of effect. Let's go with that. Okay. Oh, it's the exact same item I already had. Uh, once again, the exact same item. Uh, pick that up. Even if we just sell it, I don't. Know, I don't know how good those are. Sometimes, sometimes there's items that it says uh, you need to wait till you're a high level to get, but they're actually still pretty bad items. That yeah, looked like one of them. Ooh, I can actually wear this one right now, dude. All right, fan of that one. I'll take that. I'll wear it. Mm, that one, that one's really good. All right, so let's 
just get everything lying around here. This is where all the good stuff is. We'll take that just to sell it, and we'll take that just to sell it. That's looking good. Alright, and let's take a look at our fort and see what all items there are here. Ah, okay. It does... Alright, your item box looks like it is carried over between all your different characters, because a lot of these are just stuff I unlocked last time. So, let's see. Let's see what items I want to keep, and then we'll sell everything else. I definitely sell that, sell that. Uh, does that look good? Sure, I'll keep that for now, see if we get uh, something better later. We'll keep that. I don't, I don't know which of those is better, because I, I don't know what some of those symbols mean yet. Oh, that's like objectively worse than the item I have. So we're, no, we'll not protect that. We're gonna sell that. Um, yeah, once again, I like. I don't, well, actually, that looks to be. It seems like that's worse than some of the other items I have right now. So we'll uh, let that go. We'll unlock that because we want to sell it. We'll unlock that one because we want to sell it. And let's sell every. Er, Rather sell everything that's not lost. All right. Well, that was the first level of Dungeon Defenders on a solo run. So, we'll, we'll go to the next level, see if there's a cutscene for us. And other than that, we'll end this episode and see again so let's see what we got oh no holy shit I'm the most valuable player I was also the only player but I that does mean I'm the most valuable Wh what would this team do without me all right no cutscene so we'll just um, look around at this level and then what well in the up all right well in the episode here and who knows, maybe I'll just do another episode right after this. So, until next time, see you around.